Hello YouTubers, so here I've got the Sony Bloggy Duo again. I'm going to be doing a macro test and also I'm going to show you what it's like to hook it up to the um, HDMI socket on the TV. So we'll start with the macro test. I'll just move the camera. Try and get the autofocus to work. There we go. Pretty nice and clear. Now, one thing I'm going to try is to see if it will zoom and macro. Not that this has got a specific macro setting to it, it's just got autofocus. And it would seem that that's probably as close as I can get, which is about two and a half inches. So let's see if I can zoom and macro. So that's the full extent of the zoom and it does do quite a good job I would say. At least as good as the Kodak ZI8 and maybe even the Playtouch. It could do with being a little bit more sharper it would seem the flash makes things better. I'll just put the flash on. I mean that looks like that looks a lot better. So that's lovely jolly. So it doesn't do a bad job actually as far as the autofocus is concerned. I think that's pretty good. Obviously it's not as good as macro, but you know, if you want to do a close shot then you can use the zoom to give you an even closer shot. Now what about with smaller text? Put the old flash on. I mean that's pretty good, I've got to say. At the moment I seem to be having issues when loading it up onto YouTube. With some of the video tests that I've been putting up, the quality has really been suffering and I don't know whether it's the camera or YouTube or what so I'll have to have a look into the settings on that but that is pretty good I would say so it is improved with the flash okay so that's enough of the macro test now what I'm going to do is hook it up to the TV and show you what it's like okie dokie hello your jobbers <laughs> right so here I've got the Sony Bloggy Duo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the HDMI lead into the Bloggy Duo to have a look to see what it does. Now I'm using the HDMI lead from my Kodak Playtouch and it seems to work okay um, so let's turn it on see what happens. So you turn it on and that's what appears on the screen. Now if I go into the menu on the actual bloggy itself, it's the same settings as you get if you're in the viewing mode on the bloggy. Now on the bloggy itself, it actually shows up the camera button, but if you press it, it says invalid operation. So there is no live feed record. So now what I'm going to do is press the go button. So here I've got the Sony Bloggy Duo again. Um, I'm going to be doing a macro test and also I'm going to show you what it's like to hook it up to the um, HDMI socket on the TV. So start with the macro test. Uh, so that's not too bad. The quality reproduction is pretty good, the sound is pretty good. The thing I found with the bloggy is that you need to have the sound down low, otherwise it, it pays back distorted. No settings or anything on the actual screen itself, um, but on the bloggy, all the settings are on the bloggy. And this is just me flicking through the different um, samples that I've got on my bloggy, just using the 
arrow keys on the side here. So here's a 1080p. So this is 1080p. Pretty good reproduction of it. Okay. Seems to work better on the TV than it does on the computer. Um, but then that just might be my computer. Zoom. So you get a full zoom. So there you go. Basically, by pressing the up key, it does that on the TV screen. It also does it on the bloggy screen as well. So you can navigate through the various different options, but it doesn't show it on here. So basically, the TV is only for watching the clip itself, everything else is done on the bloggy. Um, so if you want to change settings, delete anything, um, then basically you've got to do it on the bloggy itself. So it's very, very basic, no live feed record, which is a little bit disappointing, but then most cameras nowadays don't have live feed record, but most cameras that I've had, the Kodaks don't. Um, I think the Samsons did, the bloggy doesn't. So no live feed record, which is a little bit of a bummer. So there you go, very basic. Um, but that's the HDMI lead test and the macro test. So I hope you're enjoying these tests. Um, I haven't really got many tests left to do. I'm going to do a mic test with this, with my guitar, um, at some point. And I might try and do another 720p 60 frames to see if there's any difference. But I'm sort of coming to the end of my tests now. There might be a few days where I don't do any tests because I've got various different things that I'm doing and I'll be quite busy. But I will try and get some more tests up sooner rather than later and um, get my final thoughts up soon as well. Okay, that's enough from me. Hope you're having a good day and I'll do some more later on. Bye-bye for now.